got the key, which I forgot the first day. So you need the key to open up the seat to get the tank cover off. And uh, I've already switched the seat to the original stock seat. I, I did say in this last video that the bike was stock. Well, there's a couple things that aren't stock. That seat was one of them. Um, this lower profile seat looks much better, but it's just for one person. <laughs> and I got the other seat over here. Uh, you see what the cat's clawed it all up, but it's still, still, still usable. I'll probably get it recovered. Got some other stuff off the guy there that uh, was selling the, se uh, the seat. These are aftermarket, but these are original HD foot pegs, although I don't think they fit the uh, V-Rod. I think they're for a standard Harley. Uh, the other thing that's not original on this bike is these pipes. These are Screaming Eagle pipes. They look, they look very similar to the original ones. Um, and then this guy that I bought the seat off of, um, he said originally these signal lights would have been on the, down here on a bracket with the uh, uh, with the original light cover. So I think this has been changed. Maybe it's the original light, but the maybe this piece is different or something. I'll have to look. But the signal lights would have been originally down here. So I don't know if I'll move them down there or not. The back ones are original. Uh, but besides that, well, the oil dipstick, somebody, the guys put on a, a temperature gauge on the oil dipstick. I don't know what good that's going to do. There's some surface deterioration here on this cover, the stator cover. Corrosion from the uh, sitting in that basement. And here I've got the, I might need to get a, a light, but you can see the corrosion on these butterflies here. I've been soaking them. And I had that all cleaned up before, but it's turned green now because of the brass butterfly. But the throttle is locked. The cable's locked. I already got the, uh, the two sensors disconnected. I'm ready to undo the, the clamps to pull this throttle body out. I was hoping to unhook the, the cables, but uh, I can't get out. I'm gonna try to get this out and maybe I can try to get those cables off somehow <laughs> without breaking them. Um, I noticed it's low on fluid too in the reservoir. And that's where the battery goes in sideways in here. Because uh, this part should be in uh, tomorrow, Monday or Tuesday. And the battery as well. So, okay, let me uh, get that off. Well, I just undid the two clamps here. Get a screwdriver in through here. And it's just... Oh, there goes one clamp. Oh. And this just pulled right off like, like nothing to it. You can see the corrosion all on here really corroded and uh the, the corrosion on the rear cylinder let's get some light in there right there it's not too bad let me see if i can get some light where you can see that one's not too bad but this one it's a fair bit of corrosion all the way down in there so i'm gonna make sure that piston's on top dead cylinder top dead center and clean as much as that out as i can and uh, clean all this corrosion out before I fire this bike up. Should be pretty soft, so. Okay. I'm gonna take off the boots to clean them up and it'll, get, it'll give me a little bit better access to the, uh, uh, to the intakes, just seeing what's in there. See what size this socket is here. Five mil socket. I 
I don't want to strip it. Oh. I'm gonna get a rag for here. No, this will work. Just don't wanna wreck the new seat. Kind of a shouldered screw. I don't have a manual for this bike. So, yeah, so this is going to come off with the fuel regulator and everything. Just don't know if I did undo these two screws too. Yes, I do, I think. The nuts built into the rubber. Exact same bolt. And you gotta turn it. It's not a round port and it's not a round um, manifold, it's oval. I'll be able to clean it up a lot better. So it's got a little tip pointing forward and another one pointing back. Let me just see if they're identical. They do look identical. So I don't think you can screw it up. It's the fuel rail. 
and that's the injectors just underneath it one here and one here and there's the fuel pressure I don't think I need to go any farther than that I'm just gonna rig up uh, on my shop back it's mostly just a powder just a fine powder on there but I'll rig up a pencil a pencil vacuum hose I sure like to find the bolt for the tank here the tank fake tank cover if she dropped it in here or what And this is the uh, the fuel uh, crankcase breather hose here, which always leaks oil. I can't get the cables off because they're this these are seized solid. There's no free play to pull the cables off. I can save this gasket. Let me get a blade and save that gasket. Ugh. Got a little break in it, still usable. Let's see if I can get a new one if the new throttle body doesn't come with one. Okay, so these are C's. So I'm going to undo the butterfly. Try to. It's a T10. See if I can undo these screws, take the butterfly out, and then maybe get access. Hope they come out. Oh boy, it's really tight. I got that one out. This might be good for parts. Ooh. And then maybe that way I can get uh, I can get this to turn. If not, maybe I can get some vice grips or something on the shaft, pliers, pipe wrench, something to turn it so I can get some slack in there or maybe get the shafts out i don't know That one out. That one out. Now will they turn?
Well, if I pull this linkage off here, that eliminates this one being seized. And then I just have to focus on that one. Yeah, there's just a there's just a C clip on this linkage here to pop off. I might need my pick to get that. <clears throat> I got real bad lighting on this part of the shop here. I'm not sure what to do about that. I guess I'm gonna have to move the bike. I don't want to lose that clip in case I don't, don't want to lose it, so. Man, the lighting's terrible. Put all these parts somewhere. <clears throat> so this one sees solid. Guarantee this one is. I'm gonna pull these sensors off. I might I don't know if the new the new I'm pretty sure the new throttle body I ordered comes with them. Is this the right uh, it's a bigger bigger screwdriver? Is this the one? Yeah, what is this one here? T20, T20. Here I can at least get a wrench on here and see if I can turn this to get some free play in there. Otherwise, move the 
take the throttle off up there, see if I can get some more free play up there. Uh, I think I'm just bending this here. Hard to tell. Oh, something moved. Oh, we got a little bit of movement. So this should go this way here. Take this off. I think this other linkage is seized too. That's what's holding it. Take this off too. And that one I dropped. And I heard that one fall. Okay. <laughs> Just from my own memory, little washer and the clip. A little C clip. Which is down here. I just heard it fall by my feet here somewhere. And there's another C clip here too. And that one just fell right here. It looks like all the C clips are the same size. And another washer. <coughs> Spacer, which slides in this slot here. <clears throat> this whole thing should come off. Yeah, this has to move. There we go. This has to move. Like that. 
This has to move for the throttle to turn. There we go. working. Now I can get some play in here. I'm going to loosen the adjusters at the handlebars. Okay, I loosened them up at the uh, throttle grip and they were seized as well too seized solid I can only turn them in maybe halfway so hopefully I got enough play in here um, so I'm gonna be looking for some new cables but I'm gonna to try to get these off without uh, damaging them if I can let's see this goes back this way yeah. yeah, if I undo this this cable holder here, I should be able to pull that one out. But normally, if it's loose, you shouldn't have to do this. You should just be able to unhook it here, but this thing's all seized up. This just kind of holds the cables in place. Now I should be able to lift that out, like that, that cable, and this one. And this one just popped out. put the parts back on this one here so I know how they go I'm going to take the throttle cables off and uh, lube them up see if I can save them for now until I can get a new set and all the uh, all these controls are held on by uh, torque bits these are T25 one here and there's one under the bottom here open up the clam hopefully it'll give me access might have to take this off too I don't know what there's a pull cable and a push cable I like that then those all those servo motors there on the uh, that's lubed up nice. Yeah, these are threaded in there, so I gotta take this off too. I think that's bigger. Yeah, probably a T30 or something. Oh, that's too, too small too, probably T40. I think that's a that's a T fifty I think T fifty. I'm gonna be flushing out all the brakes front and back as well too. Probably pull the calipers out. Look at the pucks. One minute I'm cold and I put this sweater on, I'm sweating again. Just the humidity, it's been raining for a couple days off and on.
it says 11 sixteenths there. I don't know if that's, or no, an inch in it. Yeah, 11 sixteenths, I think. I don't know if that's the size of the bar. That's not three quarters, that's not one inch. <laughs> I don't know. Let's put that like that. I like to keep it up. I think I'm going to put the signal lights back down where the stock ones were. Up here, I noticed the signal lights down here on the tank. Uh, the tank, fake tank cover, they come with like a quarter of an inch of hitting it. So I think I'm going to mount them back there. Okay. So th these cables are easily rutted. The uh, triple tree arms, the top arm, has a nice big hole for them to go through. Just tucks right into there. little clevises that go on the ball of the uh, the cable here don't want to lose that I think I've got spare ones because on my other Harley I lost it one time so where's the other one it's not there there's one there yeah I've got one there should be two of them that was threaded in there, but I don't think so now. I'm working in the dark. This cable looks pretty corroded, this one. I'm gonna need new cables, I just, and I can be able to trust that. It looks like just a grommet in there, so. Let's see if we can pull them out. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, just want to get these cables lubed up enough to run it. 
but this that one needs to be replaced for sure. Putting some oil in the cable and giving it a wiggle. This one's kind of stiff and corroded. And to me, it just looks like a rubber grommet holding those things in there. I don't see any C clip. I don't know what's holding that in there. <clears throat> what the hell? This is when they need an owner's manual. It's not threaded. It's just got like a, a bake light grommet there. How the hell are you supposed to get that out? I'd have to take apart the, the dash there, the speedometer to unclip uh, this wire, which I don't really want to do. Bizarre. It's got to be just pressed in there. I'm going to force it a little bit more. There it goes. There's a little metal, little metal ring on here that you kind of got to get it past. Probably the lubrication's helping it get it out. see if they're the same part number I see them on eBay from anywhere from uh, $15 to $65 tighten that up okay. and I got a clean I gotta clean these things off here. They're, they're seized. Let's see if there's any part number on here. I don't see any. Those two ends look identical. Let's see if the length is identical. One's about an inch shorter than the other. One inch shorter. I don't see any part numbers. Okay, I'm gonna lube those up. It's a 
September 30th, 59, 60 degrees or 15 Celsius. I keep going back to this V-Rod, <laughs> tinkering with little things last night and this morning. And I got the cables all out. I lubed them up as best I can. I'm gonna reuse them until I find another set. But they're, they're all lubed up. I got the threads all cleaned up on here, wire brushed them on my wire wheel and then white greased them and then lubed the, the cables. Um, just keep tinkering with little things there until my throttle body comes in. Um, these signal lights, that is factory on this one. I was told they weren't, but from what I can see on the internet, that was factory. In uh, 2002, they were down here, clamped onto the uh, forks. I believe they're 49 millimeter forks too, big forks. And then they put them up here. And uh, I'm gonna leave them up there for now, but there is a there is a mirror they sell that's called arrow mirrors with the, the arrow that points out the direction you're turning with the lights built right into it. I'd like to go that route, but they say they don't work with these, but I don't believe that. I think I can make them work. Um, what I'm gonna do this morning, is um, I'm waiting for the Harley shop in London, Rockies to open. They don't open until um, 10 a.m. It's just about 10 now. But you can see how this is all oxidized from sitting in that damp basement. So I'm gonna get my auto saw out and some scotch Brite and uh, spin this wheel and try to clean that. It's easiest to do it on the bike because I can spin it. And I'm gonna do that right now. And I won't flush the brakes out until I get the the uh, lever back on. And the reservoir for the rear one's under this cover here, so I gotta take that off. But I'm gonna, I want to get this wheel polished up. I kind of did the other side a bit. You can see there the difference. I still gotta do it some more. I'm not happy with that. But it looks a lot better, even in here. Well, that's plastic. I probably really should hose this bike down, first of all. And this this tire's... Uh, oh, look at that. There's even a crack in there. Need a new front tire, too. Look at that. Cracks in there. I knew it needed tires, but I thought I could get away with this one <laughs> for a while. Nope. Okay, I'm going to order front and back. There's four or five hundred bucks gone. That's a dumb lot. They're nice tires. So I might be when I change the tire, I might be able to clean this up a little bit better. Take the valve stem out and get around there a little better. But I'll clean this up right now. <laughs> After a few minutes I'm gonna polish it up a lot better than that at least I got all that the corrosion off the front and here's the other side it almost looks like a different shade and this one I just kind of wiped down the other day I didn't really polish it 
but it's got some areas like this that are going to need a lot of scrubbing. Might even have to use some emery cloth to get that out and then slowly work my way through the grits and polish. That's the worst right there. You can see how much shinier that side is. Now the fork tubes are the same thing. They're starting to get pitted too. And if I can't clean them up, I'll be taking the forks out. Pretty easy on this bike. Pretty easy. Everything's pretty easy to get at. No fairings or housing like the FLHs, the electric glides. I could easily pop one of these forks off in 15 minutes. Got to take the wheel off anyways. Get a new tire. And uh, I think these are 19s. Where's the size? Uh, 120. 70, 19, 120, 70, 19. At least they're common. The back tire's an 18 inch, uh, 180, 55, 18. That's a little bit odder tire. There's not that many choices out there. Okay, that's it for now. Here's the back wheel too. Look at the corrosion. A lot, of, a lot of it's dirt, but that, there's corrosion in there as well, too. And the tire. This inner hub here. A lot of dirt. I'm going to wash this off for now. <clears throat> Let me wash it all off. I gotta end this video for now. It's too long, it's 45 minutes already. And uh, I already got another 45 minutes film and the throttle body's in today, so. But there's a big line up on the bridge. I might not be able to get that till tomorrow morning. So uh, yeah, there's gonna be uh, quite a few videos coming up on this V-Rod. And this is the end of uh, number one. Thanks for watching.